Hi there guys, my name is George and welcome to my recap of E3's Day Zero. This one is going to be for Ubisoft conference. There are a few interesting titles they showed us, so let's go over them together. They kicked off with the reveal of their new IP for Honor, which is an action multiplayer PvP game set in medieval times. This game seems to be pretty fun to me, I like uh, this type of medieval action games. So they showed us a trailer and also some live gameplay, which seemed to be great fun to play. I am hoping there is going to be also a single player campaign, but uh, even without it, it seems like it could loads of fun, but we will see when the game launches, I guess. Next we get to see quick trailers for the Crew Wild Run expansion, as well as uh, the Trials Fusion Awesome Level Max expansion. Both seem to be pretty fun games, I have never played them yet, but uh, they seem pretty fun, so we will see, I guess. We also got to have a look at another new IP, Unravel, which is a platformer game, where you take a control of a pretty unique character, I would say. It uh, certainly seems like a good fun and uh, lots of uh, great hours of unraveling, so we will see how that turns out. Next we have a trailer and gameplay for new Trackmania game, Trackmania Turbo. I played a bit of Trackmania in the past and it is a pretty fun racing game to play and this one seems to deliver hours upon hours of great fun as you go through various tracks that are now randomly generated from ground up making a different experience each time and we also got a trailer for new Anno game Anno 2505 was revealed as well as gameplay trailer for the first time ever in Anno game you will be able to go to the moon and establish your own colony there from what I have seen it looks pretty exciting and interesting, but we'll see how they deliver on the actual gameplay part. They also showed us quite a few of Tom Clancy's games, for the most notably The Division, where they showed us a new gameplay in New Dark Zone. They also revealed that you will be actually able to turn on your own teammates by leaving the group and killing them and take the prize. So that's pretty interesting. They also showed us some live gameplay of a Rainbow Six Siege, which seemed quite a lot of fun, and a trailer for a new Ghost Recon game, Ghost Recon Wildlands. So all in all, pretty fine complement of shooter games from uh, Clancy's franchise. And lastly they showed us a new trailer for next Assassin's Creed game, Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Uh, they are going pretty close to modern times in this one and if they continue this route uh, we may soon perhaps see this game set in World War 1 or World War 2 or even in modern times but uh, we will see what they come up with this. Uh, this time I hope it won't be as buggy as Unity was, because I think it may be the final nail in the coffin for this franchise, but uh, I guess we will see how the game performs when it comes out. So that's it for my Ubisoft recap of E3 2015 conference, I hope you guys like it and enjoy the rest of the day, and I will see you guys next time.